All right, well, uh, welcome to uh, episode uh, 14 of uh, Adventure Spirits. Uh, this was a spur of the moment trip today. We had a lot of rains in the last couple of days, and I wanted to head to Hemlock Cliffs and see uh, see what the waterfalls look like. So let's uh, come on along and see what we find. All right. All right, uh, so to, uh, for those of you who have not been, uh, Hemlock Cliffs is about, uh, I guess, 40 miles uh, down uh, 64 west, once you get on 64 at uh, New Albany. So it took me, I don't know, right at an hour from Jeffersonville. Uh, and once you, you get off the English Sulphur exit, and eventually you work your way to a gravel road, and a little parking lot here with a kiosk back behind me. All right, well, let's get going. All right, once you get, uh, you'll see some steps coming down, and where we're going to go is right down that little uh, spot right there. All right. Well, I, I have to say that I'm surprised that there's very little water coming over the waterfalls with all the rain we've had. Uh, but let's still, let's still keep on going. All right, uh, off to the left of uh, Hemlock Cliffs, you'll see the creek going up and uh, really beautiful back in here. I just wanted to kind of give it a quick visit before I head on down the, down the creek bed. All right. All right, uh, so I decided to go uh, off the trail a bit and just take the creek bed. Uh, it eventually works its way back out to the main trail, but I find this much more exciting than the, uh, I guess, official trail. <laughs> All right, let's continue on. All right, so after you see uh, Hemlock Cliffs, you'll follow the creek bed for a while. Uh, then you'll come down to where you'll see an arrow going left and right. It, that's actually just a loop. Uh, I usually take to the right, and it comes right back around again and puts you right back on the trail. Uh, make sure you do the loop, though. It takes you to a rock house. It's really pretty. All right, let's go see it. All right, it uh, may be hard to judge the uh, uh, size of this rock house, but it's a pretty good size. I'm climbing up into it right now. There's a little bit of water coming over the top there. Well, uh, too bad you can't camp in here uh, because as I'll show you here as I'm taking it back around, there is a huge, very flat surface that goes all the way around uh, and you are completely protected from the elements. It'd be a lovely place to camp.
All right, uh, well, after you leave the uh, rock house, you just uh, get back on the trail and just kind of, it walks back around to a loop and comes back to uh, the same parking lot where I parked. So it's just a big circle, at least this trail. I think there's other trails you can do out here uh, that I've done here and there, but this is kind of the, the main one. All right. All right, uh, well, thank you for joining me uh, for this uh, kind of spontaneous uh, episode Today, I just kind of, kind of got up, started drinking coffee, and decided I wanted to go see uh, Emlock Cliffs. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this virtual hike, I guess you'd call it, uh, in case you weren't able to get out. Or if you've never been to Hemlock Cliffs, to kind of get an idea of uh, what, you're, what you're in for and what, you know, what you'll see there. So, all right. Thanks for joining me.